In this video, we're going to go over how to use storage locations in Odoo. Let's first start with a little diagram. This diagram depicts how warehouses are typically organized. We have several aisles labeled A through F. We have several rows labeled A through F within each column of an individual aisle labeled 0, 01 to 06. As you can see, this makes up a sequence of A-03-D1 for a particular area of your storage location. So in Odoo, we can easily use storage locations and leverage put away rules to make sure that this happens as efficiently as possible and we're able to store and pick from different locations in our warehouse. So let's go over to our database. This is a brand new database. We're going to go into inventory, configuration settings, and we'll scroll down Let's just disable SMS and we'll scroll down to storage locations. So let's select storage locations. This is going to allow us to use put away rules as well as build different storage locations to organize our warehouse. So let's click save. And then we'll go to configurations, locations. And by default, we see our internal locations because a filter is turned on. And that's all we want to see right now. So in Odoo, your warehouse slash stock location is your default stock location for your entire warehouse and all of your inventory. So now we can create the hierarchy that we've seen in our diagram here, right inside Odoo. So we'll simplify this a bit and we'll create ABC, one, two, three, and ABC. So a little bit simpler, but we'll get the point. Now typically we can click create and manually create these. So the first storage location will be A, and this will be under warehouse stock. And then we will create another one that says 01, and this will be under A, so warehouse stock, slash A. And then our third one will be warehouse stock, slash A, slash 01, slash A again, and then we'll have B and C. So that would follow this sequence of A, 0D, dash A, B, or C. So we can save that and we'll see we have all of our different locations here. Then from here, what we can do is leverage put away rules to automatically put products into a particular area of your warehouse when they come in uh, from a receipt. Then when we deliver the products to a customer, the system will automatically tell us where to grab these items from based on the location that we put them in. Now creating a ton of these might be tedious, so we'll go over how to import these. So let me delete. Now we're back to where we started. So I'm gonna go over to Excel and we're gonna build out a simple sheet. So we're gonna say that we need an external ID. This is just a unique identifier for the individual line that we'll be importing. We need the location name, the location type. We need the parent location. And if we want, we can set a barcode. So in order to enable barcodes, we'll go to configuration settings and we'll search for barcode. So let's enable barcode scanner so that we can use a barcode scanner in our barcode app if we would like. So this is just going to let us set our barcode field on our location. So now that's installing, we can go back to our locations and take a quick look. Let's go to configurations, locations, and we'll see there's now a barcode field that is populated with warehouse-stock for our main stock location. We can rename these or, or name them whatever we'd like. So we'll continue with that sequence that we've seen in our diagram. So now let's go back to Excel. We have our external ID, our location name, location type, and parent location. So and our external ID could be anything. We just need to make sure it's unique. So I'll just, just do location underscore 001. Our location name is going to be the name of this particular location. So we'll start with A. The location type is internal location. Our parent location for all of our top level aisles is going to be warehouse slash stock. And we can give this a barcode if we'd like, or we can leave it blank. So we'll leave the top level ones blank and just worry about the lowest level locations. So now we just need to duplicate this for B and C. Now that we have A, B, C, we have our internal location. All of these are going to have the same location type. And for those, we'll all we'll keep them as parent location warehouse stock. Now what we want to do from here 
is set the different columns inside of the aisles. So we'll have column one through six, but in this example, we'll, we'll stick to one to three. Let me just make this all text so that it doesn't try to reformat our numbers. And now we'll say that this location name is 01, 02, 03. And we're going to need each one of those for each one of our aisles. So we'll do this three times. And then the parent location for each one of these is going to be a concatenation from warehouse stock and the, the aisle. So we'll do warehouse slash stock A. And this will be the same for these three. And then this one will be B. And then this one will be C. Now, finally, we're going to have our individual rows. So we'll have A, B, and C for rows. And we'll just name these A, B, and C. And we'll copy those over for each one. And of course, each one of these will have, so we'll have 0, 01, ABC, 0, 02, ABC, and so on and so forth. We'll just keep it simple and only do um, the very first one. So we'll have warehouse slash stock slash A dash 0, 01, and that's going to be A, B, and C. This one's going to be 0, 02, and 0, 03. And I'll complete this. Okay, now that we finished building out all of our different locations, we can now utilize the barcode column to fill in a barcode for each one of these end locations here. So I'm just going to paste in all of our barcodes. And now we have our barcodes for each one of our locations. So now we have all that set up, we can click save and we can import this right into Odoo. So let's go into Odoo, go into our locations and from our favorites menu, we're gonna click import records. We'll load a new file. And then we can test this. And as you can see, everything seems fine. So we'll go ahead and import that. Now you see all of our locations that we just created. And if we go into one of our final locations, such as warehouse stock slash C slash zero one slash A, we can see that the barcode uploaded. This is an internal location and it has the proper parent location. So now that we have that all set up, we can start creating products and moving our products into these locations. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to products and create a new product. We'll call this a hammer. Let's say the cost is $5. We'll sell it for $10. We'll go to purchase and remove this tax. And now we have a hammer. So the first thing we can do with a hammer is use a put away rule to automatically put this into a particular bin that you want it to be in. So if we go to put away rules on the smart button, we can create a new put away rule, or we can go to configurations, put away rules, and mass create them for our product. We can also import that if we want. We'll just keep it simple here and say that for our product, hammer, we're going to store it to a particular location. We'll say that we're going to store it in warehouse stock slash C01A. And that's going to be the location for the hammer. So every time that we purchase a hammer and we confirm it into inventory, once it hits our warehouse stock location, it's automatically going to be pushed to the C-01-A location. We can also do this based on a product category. So if we want to put all of our products that go into a particular location in a specific product category, we can do that as well. So now let's go ahead and purchase this item and see what Odoo does for us. Let's go to the purchase app. We'll create a new purchase order. We'll just create vendor one. And we're going to purchase hammer. Let's say we're going to buy five units. We can save and confirm this order and we can receive our products in or from our inventory app, we can view our receipts, come in here, we can set qualities. And now once we validate this, this is automatically going to go to our specific location that we specified. We can also click print picking operations. And once we open this document, you'll see Odoo automatically tells us to store this to our warehouse stock, stock slash C set slash zero one slash A, which is what we set on our put away rule. Now our warehouse workers will manually put that where it belongs and we can validate our inventory. And now if we go to reporting inventory report, we'll see that we have five on hand quantities for hammer. So five on hand for hammer 
and it's in this specific sublocation. Now we can sell this product. So if we go to sales, we'll say customer one. Before we sell that, let's make sure that we have the right settings on our product. So our invoicing policy is on order quantity. That's great. That's what we want. So let's create a new, we'll call this customer one. We'll add the hammer and we'll sell five units. We'll save, confirm. We can go to our delivery or we can go into our inventory app, look at our delivery order. And again, you can see that Odoo automatically tells us where we should pull this item from. So let's set quantities and we can validate this delivery. Now, we don't always have to use put away rules. We can manually tell the system where we want items to go. And we can do this using a two-step process in our warehouse. So if we go to configuration warehouses, we can go into our warehouse. Now what we want to do is go into configuration settings and we'll scroll down and we'll turn on multi-step routes and we'll click save. This will give us the ability to have some more functionality within our warehouse. So now if we go back to warehouses, we'll see that we have the ability to switch incoming shipments to a two-step process. So we'll bring them into our warehouse and then we'll decide where they belong in our stock or in our aisles and locations. We're also going to set the goods in our output location as well to two-step. So that's going to save and refresh. It's going to build out some routes for us. So now in products, let's create a new product. We'll call this nails. Say the cost is $2, the sale price is 10. And we'll save this. So now let's go and purchase. Purchase from vendor one and we'll add nails. We're going to buy five units. We'll save, confirm this order. And now let's go into our inventory app. We have one receipt to process and one internal transfer waiting to be processed. And once we complete the receipt, this internal process will allow us to transfer the goods to the right location. So let's go into our receipt. So let's set quantities and we'll validate. Now we have this internal transfer ready to go. And by default, it's going to tell us to put this in warehouse stock. But we can adjust the two location and we can send it to any location that we want. So let's say that we're going to put this in C01A. And now let's think about this. What if we only want to store three of them in C warehouse A or C01A and a couple more in a different location? We can do this as well by adding a line. We can say this one is nails again. And instead of processing five on the first line, we'll process three. And on the second line, we'll process two. And we'll switch the location. We'll say this one is going to be warehouse C, O3B. We can save and we can validate. Now we've moved the proper, we moved our items into the proper location. If we go to reporting inventory report, you can see our nails are in two different locations now, three and two. And that was easily accomplished by splitting them up into two different line items. So now let's go into sales and sell this item. So we'll select customer one and we'll sell them five nails. So let's save and confirm. Now we'll go into our inventory app. We'll see that we have to pick it and then deliver it. So now if we go into our picking operation, you'll see that Odoo automatically tells us where to pick our items from. We can go ahead and print our picking operations. And again, it's broken out into two different line items, the two different places we're going to pick the items from. We can set quantities so that we pick those items and we'll validate. We pack them up and they're ready to be delivered. So we'll process this delivery and all of these items are going to go from our output location right to our customer location. So we can set quantity and validate this final shipment. Now, if we go to reports, inventory report, we see all of our items have left our warehouse. Now, the last thing I want to show you is if we go to configuration warehouses, sorry, configuration locations, and we click into one of our locations, so C-01-A, we can take a look at this barcode, and then we can print our location barcode. 
and we see our barcode here and we can customize this report if needed in studio or customize this as we need and we can paste these or um, put a sticker on the specific locations where this belongs that way we can easily do inventory adjustments using the barcode application not something I'm going to cover in this video but I wanted to make you aware that this is a possibility and it makes things really convenient when using the barcode app and that barcode app is a free app it's currently installed and it works great on mobile so now that is everything you really need to know about organizing your warehouse using inventory locations as well as put away rules.